Hey, what's up? I'm Tim from Tim Shaw Design, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a chainmail hacky sack. So this is a really fun project, it takes about two hours to do, and the end result is a great gift. You can sell these at festivals, you can use them as hacky sacks, juggling balls. My girlfriend ended up stealing this and taking it to work to use as a little stress ball. So it's a, a cool project. It's also good if you're thinking about making like a chainmail shirt or some chainmail uh, clothing because you practice some of those techniques like making round patterns and, and that kind of stuff. So follow along, enjoy the tutorial, and thanks again for watching. So begin by gathering the supplies you'll need for this project. You'll need two pliers, a bunch of 16 gauge quarter of an inch rings, I'm using bright aluminum here, and you'll also need some rags to stuff the hacky sack with. I like to start off by closing and opening a bunch of rings before I start a project. Start off by attaching four closed rings to an open ring. Place it down so the rings are lying like so. We're going to be doing what's called a European 4 to 1 weave here. Take an open ring with two closed rings and connect it through two of the rings as shown. You're going to do this repeatedly to make a chain 24 center rings long. Then, you're going to make a second chain, the exact same way, that's also 24 center rings long. Line up these two chains so that the center rings are lying in the same direction. Now, we're going to attach them together. Following the direction of the rows, weave these chains together until you have a sheet. This is the basis for how to make chainmail sheets. You can add multiple rows or make these rows longer to make bracelets, cuffs, vests, shirts, etc. Next up, we're going to build some pyramids of rows to eventually make a circular pattern that'll be the top and bottom of the hacky sack. We will build this pyramid off of five base rings, with the second row of four, then three, then two, then one ring. Since there are 25 rings along the outside of the sheet, we will make 5 pyramids along each side. You can see here how we will later form a circular sheet by attaching the pyramids together. Make 5 identical pyramids along the bottom of the sheet as well. Now we're going to fold the sheet in half and attach the ends together. Stuff some rags into the hacky sack to hold everything in place. The final step is to weave together the pyramids on the top and bottom. The process is identical on both sides, but I'm showing the second side I wove together here as it's easier to demonstrate what's actually going on. Now starting from the bottom, weave the pyramids together like so. Do 
do this to four of them, but when you get to the last pyramid, we're going to do something a bit different. Start by opening the top ring and putting it through the top rings of the four other pyramids. Attach the sides together and you're done. Thanks again for watching this video. Stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have lots of other videos coming out soon. And drop down in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this, if you had any problems, and what other videos you'd like to see me make. Stay tuned. I'll see you next time.